CNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Drizzly in rainy Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update, and currently we have all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. You've got the Dow up 670 points. That's 2%. The S&P up 2% as well, 87 points. The NASDAQ 101 and 6 tenths, or 232 points. Russell's up 2 and 7 tenths, 54 points, 3.5% for the semis. They're trading out at 34.21. Gold is off $21. Silver down 31 cents. Light sweet crude trading out at 109.99. That's up six and three tenths percent. So much for that uh, uh, draining the uh, the uh, the reserves in the U.S. Yeah, let's go drain those reserves and fill them back up with more expensive gas. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? But let's go see what you want to be paying attention to here during the next hour or so. And that means we're going to go switch over and take a look at the 30-minute time frame charts out here. As we take a look at those, you're going to see that we now have a confirmed TD9 count pattern for the ES Mini. Now, it says that the high that's in or the high that comes in between two and and three o'clock, that's what we're going to watch for, is going to be a critical high. So if it is this high that's currently in, that high is at 43.96.75. Whichever is the high of those two sessions, if price closes above those highs, tells you about a strong momentum move to the upside. Otherwise, tells us about a little bit of a pit stop. Now, that pit stop should take price back to its oscillator and change line, 43.71. The ES Mini, that would be its first test of support. If price closes below that, the next test of support subject to some other profile that forms, would be down at the 4343 level. The NQ is forming a TD9 count top. It's doing it at the TD9 count breakdown resistance level of 14270. Now, bar 9 still needs to complete out here. Looks like that will happen. But it can be the bar following bar number 9. So we don't, we're not in sync out here, like the band, with the ES mini. But you do have the potential of a top that's already in place with bar number 8 being in place out here. So that would suggest to move back to the 14170 area. You have a TD9 count wave number seven pattern for the Dow equity future contract. Again, it's either going to be the high of the current bar, one that just closed, or the one that would close as we come into the 2.30 time frame. And the same with regard to the Russell 2000. So folks, the 30-minute charts have made things very easy for you to be able to call what the market is going to do next. Get the highest high, either the one that occurred at, uh, at uh, 2 p.m. or the one at 2.30 for the ES Mini for the Dow Equity Future contract and for the Russell 2000. If price closes above those highs, you know you've got a further rally into the close. Otherwise, expect a retracement. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. Have a wonderful Wednesday, and I'll see you tomorrow back here at 1 o'clock sharp on Terrific Thursday. Take care.